You ain't special. Just another thug looking for an easy way out. Ha ha ha! Alright, very funny. Is that supposed to be clever? You know, one look at you and I knew we had a hothead in town. You threatening me, pal? Whoa, whoa, look, look, <laughs> take it easy now. You know, I was, uh, I was just joking, right? Here, take this. D oh, and, uh, please, this doesn't need to get back to Meg, all right? Whoa, 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 there. Uh, Mom, Dad! Who do you think you are barging in here? George! Hold it, stranger. No funny moves. The Brotherhood? Again? Oh, man. Cool! Ha-ha! <laughs> I told you they'd be back, Colin. Lower the gun, George. All right. Why don't you come over here and we'll... Try to do this like civilized folk. Now you need to be more careful just waltzing into people's homes. It's a good way to end up with more lead in you than's healthy. I'm Carol Putnam. This is my husband, George. Now. Won't you tell us why you're barging in here, and maybe we can all be friendly when you're done. Those would be them military types in the heavy armor that came through here recently, right? I'm the one that told them about those attacks. Those Brotherhood guys are so cool. Wait, are you recruiting? I, I want to sign up. Their gear was pretty fascinating. Settle down, boys. The adults is talking. So you want to know about them ghouls? Can't say for certain. We got a suspicion, though. A lot of the sightings and attacks have been from folks traveling the highway to Flatwoods. They come out of the hills, northwest of the old creamery. And the only thing out that way is what's left of the Orwell orchards. Could be the source of the things. You gonna wipe them out when you find them? Not sure. More than a few, less than an army. From what folks have said, if you're going in alone, even a few can swarm you before you even realize what's happening. Be careful out there. Good to hear. You'd be doing everybody in the area a favor. That's for sure. Safe roads mean safer traders. Good for everyone. The Brotherhood would definitely be making friends if you pull this off. Just try.
try not to startle us if you drop by again. George has a hair trigger with that shotgun. I really would like to join the Brotherhood. I know I'm not as strong as my brother, but you've got to have a need for somebody smart, right? I'm sure. This farm isn't the place for me. The Brotherhood could change the world. It's where I belong. Can you make me a recruit? All right, that seems fair enough. I'll do my best to earn that recommendation, I promise. Are you sure about me, though? I know my brother wants this, too, and I heard Mom. Only one of us can go. Really? That's incredible. Thank you. Uh, you go on ahead. I, I need to talk to my folks and say goodbye and that kind of thing. I'll meet you at Orwell Orchards. Raiders come snooping around, they're gonna regret it.
personalized scanning. Unable to locate. Maximizing throttle on all fouls. Hey, you're here. Seemed like this was the place. I had to sneak past everything outside, and then I heard some noises deeper in here, so... I just hold up to wait for you. I hope that's okay. Don't worry, I will. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. Oh god. Oh. oh. Wow. That was... a lot. Yeah. Yeah, actually, thanks. That was... terrifying. Uh, I didn't completely lose it, though, and... I'm alive, so I guess that's a good sign. Thanks, really. I know how that would have gone if it was just me. I'm still shaking. I'm really a little worried you're so casual about it. I guess I can handle it, but if I have the choice, I'll stick to books and machines, thanks. Definitely. I might not be the most brave in a fight, but you must need people to keep everything running. 
And if the occasional moment of terror is the price for getting to work with their tech, I can live with it. I will. Thanks again for keeping me alive, as well as giving me this chance. I'll make sure you and the rest of the Brotherhood don't regret it. Be safe out there. Valdez take another look at my armor. Ah, 2,000 miles of hikings put some real wear on it. Let's see if anyone needs help with anything. Welcome back. Have you completed your assigned mission, candidate? Ah, oh, that explains young Colin Putnam arriving at our doorstep then. Bright kid. I can't say Shin thought much of him, but... If he makes it through basic training, I think you found us another scribe. That'll make Valdez happy. I'm very pleased with your initiative. Excellent job. Not only have you achieved everything we set out for you, but you have expanded our order and helped to secure its future in Appalachia. I hereby confer on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put the official initiation right on hold. Something's come up, and we need to deal with it right away. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. Report to me again when you're ready. Another nuke? We arrived in Appalachia not a moment too soon. Without running my own operation, it would involve this much paperwork. Someone returned their gun to the wrong place again. Do I need to call a seminar on this? We can spare any supplies for the relief efforts. Might buy us goodwill with the locals. If I don't sleep tonight, I should be able to get this list done. These people are still hurling nukes at each other. It's madness. No meat approved. A perfectly preserved pie with every dinner declined. And this ration request doesn't even have a name on it. I will not allow Atlas to go the way of Fort Defiance. We're here to stay. Raiders causing trouble again. We'll have to do something about them. Link in the chain that binds. And that is what keeps this order together.
Hello, Initiate. Congratulations on officially joining our ranks. I apologize that we aren't able to do an official ceremony right now, but as previously stated, something more important has come up. I've been informed that there is an independent settlement that needs our help. A group of Blood Eagle Raiders are extorting the villagers and taking their supplies. The village's leader, Jenny Brown, has more information. You can find her at their settlement, a camp made up of tree houses that they call the Retreat. I trust that you will represent the Brotherhood admirably on your first mission, Initiate. Someone returned their gun to the wrong place again. have so much to teach us. I hope I'll get to meet them first. Someday. I could become an initiate too. If anyone needs help with it. Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max, though, for short. My big sister Marcia and I live here now with the Brotherhood. Isn't that cool? Uh, well, the town we lived in got attacked by raiders and our mother was killed. Um, but luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel was there and they saved us. Since we didn't really have anyone anymore, Paladin Romani had us come along with them. I can't wait to become a member and fight off bad guys like they do. I'll make sure no one ever has to die again. They're heroes! The Brotherhood is gonna save humanity and help make the world a better place. They saved my sister and me and a bunch of other people along the way. Plus, the power armor they get to wear is so cool! Oh yeah! It's a lot of fun living in the Brotherhood of Steel base. I kind of wish there were more kids my age to play with, but it's okay. The less distractions from my training, the better. I'm gonna become the best Brotherhood of Steel member that Paladin Romani has ever seen. Whatever you want. It's fun talking with you. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to talk about them. I mean, they're my heroes. She's the leader of the Brotherhood, and I'm gonna try my best to impress her so that she makes me an initiate one day. It was Paladin Romani's idea to let us stay here with them, and I'm so happy that she did. Oh, absolutely. She cares a lot about saving people and stopping bad guys. She's a real-life hero. No way! I can't get the proper training I need to become a Brotherhood of Steel Knight there. I need the best combat training there is, and that's here. Speaking of, I wonder if Knight Shin is busy right now. Okay. Knight Shin is super cool. Have you seen his power armor? He doesn't really talk to me much, but I, I think it's just because he's super busy doing Brotherhood stuff and fighting bad guys. Plus, he's usually hanging out by the weapons, and I'm not allowed to go near there. I think we're gonna be best friends one day, though. You think? I wanna know all about the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Odessa is the best. She's super smart and is always saying stuff that I don't really understand, but I'm gonna study really hard. And sometimes when the others aren't around, we play hide and seek around the fort. Nah, I wanna be a knight like Shin so I can wear power armor and use cool weapons. If I was to be a scribe though, I would wanna be just like Odessa. She told me I could because we're friends. Just like how you can call me Max instead of Maximo. Although, when I'm a knight, I would prefer if you called me Knight Max. Okay. 
Sounds good to me. Stay safe out there. anyone mess with this village. Oh, Radto couldn't jump all the way you up here. You should leave. I thought this high ground would be useful for hunting, but the local wildlife learned to watch out for us pretty fast. Hello there, stranger. What can I do for you? Well, aren't you just the cutest Brotherhood member I've ever seen? My name is Jenny Brown, and I'm the mama hen of this little family here at the retreat. Lately, my kin have been harassed by a woman named Dagger and her Blood Eagle Raiders. She's causing all my people to go hungry and threatening our lives. You should take some time to talk with some of my people. I'm sure they have some useful information about Dagger that they can share with you, you know. Great. Let me know if you need anything else, darling. Looks like it might rain later. Looks like Don't cause any trouble around here. I will be able to find you. I went out hunting shortly after one of her weekly collections and tracked her lieutenants to see where her hideout is. I lost their trail and wasn't able to get the exact location, but I do know that there's somewhere to the southwest. If you find her, kill her. Her and her damn blood eagles are taking our food, water, stim packs, everything. All in exchange for allowing us to keep our lives. Being high up in these trees makes me feel safe. Plus, everyone looks out for each other here, and we do what we can to make the best of it. If you can just help get rid of Dagger, we can go back to living in peace. My partner and I were holed up in a building when we heard some people come inside and start looking through the place. We were worried that we would have to fight, but instead, Miss Jenny welcomed us into her group with open arms and offered us a place in the family. Please help us give that dagger what she deserves. Ah, I don't. Once folks start having kids, we're gonna need to get some guardrails on these here bridges. Well, it's just about time to eat. You're not afraid of heights. It's nice having everyone nearby. Hey there. Sorry, we're a bit wary of strangers right now. I know that she's got numbers, and she's smart. She's got people tracking our trade routes, and they've been harassing our caravans. It's making the settlers not want to trade with us for fear of losing their own people. I don't blame them either. Dagger's people are making it harder and harder for us to have the supplies when she comes to collect. Honestly, I think she just wants an excuse to kill us off.
Miss Jenny heard of all the people in Appalachia and thought it would be a good spot for some consistent trading opportunities. We came across all these abandoned tree houses, and it seemed like the perfect place to set up our little haven. It allows us to keep our independence while still making it easy to trade with the settlers. Mostly. I believe in you to give that dagger what she deserves. I don't like the fog. Even just a mist makes me hard to see. Miss Jenny brought us all together, and nothing will take us apart. Forgive any attitudes from us. We've got people going hungry here. I run the storehouse here and have to deal with her lieutenants that come to collect every week. They have some sort of fancy rocket launchers that would blow this place to smithereens if given the opportunity. Her and those Blood Eagle Raiders are definitely too tough for us to handle on our own. Something's got to be done about her. And I hope you're the one to do it. You kidding me? It's got to be the coolest digs you can get in the apocalypse. I'm proud to call this place my home. And these people, my family. I was surrounded by a group of vicious mole rats when some members of Miss Jenny's family found me. They saved me. I figured I could use some more protection from all the nastiness in this world. Now, we just need to deal with Dagger. You go get that Dagger, and bring me back my Instamash. Please. what everyone's doing today. I thought this high ground would be useful for hunting, but the local wildlife learned to watch out for us pretty fast. I hope you enjoyed getting to know us. We're peaceful people. We don't want to bother or be bothered. So, will you help us? Thank you. I knew you'd be as sweet on the inside as you are on the outside. Please be careful. Dagger and her lieutenants are dangerous folk. I never thought I could feel so at home. Real nice view of me. Shame about the food.
Tom is still alive. My mama. My eyes! My eyes! Well, well, well. I see the Brotherhood has finally sent one of their pawns to retrieve my weapons. <laughs> because you've impressed me by taking out my crew, I'll allow you to say a few last words. Choose them carefully, kid. You mean besides the fact that you waltzed in here all high and mighty? Oh, I've got eyes everywhere. I like to stay informed. Fine by me. I'd rather let my guns do the talking.
have you had a chance to pay Dagger a friendly visit? Thank you so much, Sweet Pea. Because of you, my people will no longer go hungry. The Brotherhood has our support and our thanks. Toad couldn't jump all the way up here, right? Oh, I'm up. I have news from our patrol. They must have the seen something quite interesting beginning. for you to come to me Stay about it. Busy. Interesting is not the word. Concerning, yes. W one moment, Initiate. Night Shin is in the middle of his report. Go on, Shin. As I was saying, one of our patrols came across a raider's storeroom. They were chased out, but not before sighting several crates with the Brotherhood insignia on them. Those crates are for important assets. We haven't used them since... Since that battle. Let's not waste time with details. Considering the contents, it's imperative that we recover those crates from the raiders. We have yet to establish a relationship with the people of Crater. It's possible that they are more agreeable than the other raiders we've encountered. Are you seriously considering the idea of leaving those items in raider hands? Let's discuss this later. We've kept the Initiate waiting long enough. Were you able to help the people of the retreat? Very unfortunate that things had to end that way, but... At least the villagers are safe now. Them, and likely many others. The world is better off with fewer blood eagles. Don't speak so frivolously of human life, Knight. Oh, is there anything else to report? The blood eagles too. Did these crates have our insignia on them? If our weapons have spread among multiple groups, that's a serious problem. The Initiate made the right choice in bringing them back to us. I hope the villagers have other means of defending themselves. If we address the threat at its origin, there will be no need for them to defend themselves. Which is exactly why we can't leave those weapons in Raider hands. We obtained them during our journey to Appalachia. Unexpected circumstances removed them from our possession. That's all the Initiate needs to know. I am the one answering questions here, Knight. The Brotherhood saved Shin's hometown from a raider attack. It was then that Knight Connors recruited him into the fold. There have been other incidents since then, but... This is irrelevant to the mission. Perhaps you can ask him about it another time. I'd prefer that you didn't. Good work, Initiate. You're dismissed. We should spend less time. You're here. Good. To review the current situation, one of our patrols located a cache of dangerous weapons in a raider storeroom. Stolen Brotherhood weapons, no less. Your assignment is to secure the storeroom for the Brotherhood, and the weapons along with it. I'll put together a squad and meet you there. But given the situation, it's imperative you arrive there as soon as possible. Any questions, Initiate?
One last thing. We need to confirm the weapon's source. I find it unlikely the Raiders will be willing to talk until after we send them a very clear message. If any of them are still alive after that, we can question them. But priority one is securing the weapons they already have. That will be all. Dismissed. Identify yourself. Law abiding. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Did the Brotherhood send you? Didn't know they were working with run-of-the-mill average wastelanders. Thought they wanted you strapped into one of those tin cans round the clock. Uh, it's wrong of me to judge by appearances, though. Why don't you introduce yourself? That's so. You got a deed to go with that claim? Because, uh, we're not going to sign it. This vault and all material goods within are hereby under possession of the Brotherhood of Steel. This requisition will aid us in the preservation of technology and the protection of mankind. Your compliance will ensure your safety. You know, I'm interested in hearing more about this protection of mankind business. I suppose killing a few no-good raiders is an easy price to pay for the benefit this measly little vault will provide for us as a species. Is that it? I repeat, your compliance will ensure your safety. Not that I'd expect a simple-minded brute to understand. Resorting to name-calling already. I have to say, I'm disappointed. Thought I'd be able to speak to someone civilized from a big-shot organization like yours. What about you, Forward Scout? Think we can work this one out? Or are your underpants in as tight of a bunch as Mr. Compliance over there? You... do have a point. This place doesn't offer us any strategic leverage over the Brotherhood. If anything, you're gonna waste more resources protecting a place so far away from your home base. So then, it must be the weapons that are important to you. What's so special about these rocket launchers that a top-ranking member would come to collect them himself? I don't know how you became aware of our internal hierarchy. But it's irrelevant to the situation. You will leave the weapons in the vault and disperse. Now. How about you? Do you seriously take orders from this constipated suit of metal? Terrorize? We're out here trying to survive, just like anyone else. 
Meanwhile, the Brotherhood is marching around in power armor, threatening people who don't meet its demands. You tell me who's the real terror. We're heading back to Crater. This stash isn't worth it. Not so fast. Tell us where you got those weapons from. Ooh, sorry. I don't discuss Raider affairs on Brotherhood territory. If you really want to know, you can come talk to me in Crater. Don't worry. If it's only one of you, we don't usually kill on sight. Now let us through. We completed the first part of our mission. I can't say I agree with your methods. Talking things through gives the impression of a compromise. The Brotherhood doesn't compromise. We determine what needs to be done, and we do it. You did do the second part right, so I'll leave it at that. Moving forward, we still need to track down the weapon source. That man appeared to know something. I don't care how you get it out of him, but make sure you get it. We'll set up some Protectrons to guard it, and transfer the weapons back to Fort Atlas. After that, it can be used as an intermediate storehouse for anything our patrols find in the northern part of Appalachia. This is your top priority. The longer we let these weapons spread, the more difficult it will be to track down all of them. I can't believe they had the nerve to just barge in like that. That knight acts like some kind of righteous savior. I told you. And they're only gonna get more confident. I won't let them. Do we have their patrol routes yet? A couple ambushes ought to take them down a notch. We'll have to discuss this later. We've got a visitor. So, you really came? Huh. To be honest, I didn't expect the Brotherhood to show its face around here with anything less than a fully armored battalion. Life is just full of surprises, isn't it? So, what can I do for you, oh honorable emissary of steel? About that. <laughs> you and your metal buddies put me in a pretty tight spot back there. There are people here in Crater depending on me. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it back to them. So I prioritized a little bit. Getting home to those people was more important than being completely sincere to a group of heavily armed tyrants. So if you're looking for help with your little weapon problem, you can look somewhere else. Don't you think you're being stubborn, Pierce? We have a good little Brotherhood peon here at our disposal. We can make use of that. We've been over this. There's no compromising with people like the Brotherhood. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. We don't know that yet for sure. Besides, everyone has their own motivations. Our visitor might have one worth talking about. I won't rely on a betrayal to take them down. You should know that. I have nothing left to discuss. I've given you my answer, Initiate. Now for your sake, I'd suggest you don't stick around. Hey, you. Don't leave yet. I've got something to say. Don't mind Pierce, he's stubborn. Holds too tightly to his morals. I'll tell you about the weapons, but you're gonna need to give me something in return. Interested? I want intel on the Brotherhood. 
Records, roster, correspondence. You've got people specialized in keeping track of that sort of thing, right? Transfer their data onto this holotape and bring it back to me. Then I'll tell you what you want to know. Toodles. Staying safe. Any new deeds to add to your scroll? Raiders, huh? If they're anything like the raiders we've encountered on the expedition route, then... My guess is the situation isn't pretty. All right. How can I help? Mm-hmm. I think I understand. The funny thing about data is you don't know what's real or not. Not unless you gathered it yourself. To be honest, I was working on encrypting my terminal for this kind of situation. So, if anyone accessed it who wasn't supposed to, they would just get false info and none would be the wiser. I didn't finish, but you can still use the fake data I created. Should be clearly labeled in the files. Just, uh, don't select the wrong one. This is the raiders we're talking about. It'd be bad news if they got an advantage on us. Worse, if the knight found out it was because of me. Not a problem. I'm here to help. One day, I'll make night. Then I'll show those raiders who's boss. Goddamn place understand the concept. Got the holotape? Good, thanks. The weapons don't have one source. Some of them we looted off a group of unfortunate settlers. We've also traded them among ourselves. Some old friends visited Crater a while back, wielding that firepower, claiming they earned it in a fight. They were bragging about it till the day they left. Said they sent some big armored folks running. I can't confirm that the losers were Brotherhood, but that was your logo on the side of those weapons, wasn't it? Doesn't matter to me. Now, I told you what I know. With any luck, we won't talk again. Yep. They may or may not have more, but they've definitely come in contact with them. West. They said they passed through Ohio before coming here. I don't know how much further out they went.
Don't change your mind. This was a one-time offer, and it's one that neither of us will speak of again. Don't touch anything. Stay strong. Don't tell him what the next challenge is. Someone re I see you returned from Crater. Standing by for your report. Hmm. That's not what I was hoping to hear. All right. Tell me about the sources. I see. And are those raiders still at Crater? I thought running my own operation would involve this much paperwork. It can't be helped then. We need to focus on Appalachia for the moment. And the other one. Foundation 2. This is bad. Worse than I thought. At this rate, all of Appalachia will be toting these rocket launchers. All because of... Forgive me, Initiate. I lost my composure. We need to follow up with Foundation as soon as possible. Peaceful or not, Civilians should not have access to that kind of technology. It's too easy for things to go wrong. Take the Great War as an example. That catastrophe is the inspiration for our mission today. So that's everything. That was a thorough report. The Brotherhood appreciates your diligence looking into this matter. Our next step is to deal with Foundation. Paladin Romani already had plans to establish contact. So, she'll want to hear about this. No need to expound everything. I'll follow up later with a more detailed report. Ad Victorium. Ah, Initiate. I haven't had the chance to discuss your last assignment with Knight Shin yet. Was there something you needed to report to me directly? Really? Foundation? That's troubling. How well do you know the people of Foundation? Excellent. That's great news. I spoke with a few members of their community, looking for ways to work together. We are in need of food and water. They have plenty to spare. However, knowing they may have those weapons... Uh, ...accelerates matters. It's critical that we follow up with them right away. Your mission is as follows. Meet with Gloria Chance, the Supervisor of Foundation Supply Room, Determine whether or not they've seen or acquired such weapons for themselves. And lastly, establish a trade deal with Foundation. Something that will provide us longevity in Appalachia. You're gonna have to make some tough decisions, but I trust that you know Foundation well enough to make the right calls. And allow me to stress, both returning with the weapons and securing a trade deal are equally important objectives, Initiate. I wholeheartedly agree. Remember, you represent the Brotherhood to these people. Do us proud.
You must be here about that shipment of Blamco mac and cheese. Great. I was starting to get worried. Oh, pardon me, Ben. You say you're with Paladin Romani? That's fantastic. I didn't think she'd get back to us so quickly. How can I help you, uh, sire, your majesty, uh, your steeliness? Ah, uh, right. How about that? Originally, we were hoping to purchase some weapons in exchange for food and supplies, but we may need to work something else out. After all, our last purchase is more than enough firepower for the time being. Yep, that's right. Hun, can you tell our friend here about those uh, thingies we picked up recently? Ah, oh, sure thing. We got weapons all right, Initiate. You Brotherhood guys make some high-quality gear. And tell me if this sounds familiar. Tubes of explosive death, with your logo on the side? Oh. Well, the stuff we got definitely has your logos on it. Some guys from the town watch took them out for testing a little earlier. I'm sure you can catch up with them. They normally practice at a small site they set up near the East Mountain Lookout. A bit north of here. Oh, that's right. Mike and them took the weapons out for a test drive. If you head over, I'm sure they'd let you take a look. I, I hope you understand those weapons are our property, though. We spent quite a bit acquiring them. But hurry back. I'm sure we can still find a way to work together, even if we don't need more weapons. And send the fellas home, would ya? They've been playing with those things long enough. Everyone gather around. Ward wanted us to record some instructions on how to use these things. Where's Mike? Hey, Mike, stop messing around with that terminal and grab one of those rocket launchers. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. Uh, I wanted to lock the terminal first. Uh, let me put this in my bag really quick. Give it up, Mike. That could be decades old. Just grab one of them and come here. Wait, Mike, I, I told you not to pick it up like that. Oh God, what have I done? 